right, so I'm going to be reading the creepypasta called Herobrine from the creepypasta wiki page. Enjoy. I'd recently spawned a new world in single player Minecraft. Everything was normal at first as I began chopping down trees and crafting a workbench. I noticed something move amongst the dense fog. I have a very slow computer so I have to play with a tiny render distance. I thought it was a cow so I pursued it, hoping to grab some hides for armor. It wasn't a cow though. Looking back at me was another character with the default skin but his eyes were empty. I saw no name pop up and I double checked to make sure I wasn't in multiplayer mode. He didn't stay long. He looked at me and quickly ran into the fog. I pursued out of curiosity but he was gone. I continued on with the game, not sure what to think. As I expanded to world I saw things that seemed out of place for the random map generator to make. 2x2 two two tunnels in the rocks, small perfect pyramids made of sand in the ocean and groves of trees with all their leaves cut off. I would constantly think I saw the other player in the deep fog but I never got a better look at him. I tried increasing my run that distance too far whenever I thought I saw him but to no avail. I saved the map and went onto the forums to see if anyone else had found the pseudo player. There were none. I created my own topic, telling off the man and asking if anyone had a similar experience. The post was deleted within 5 minutes. I tried again, and the topic was deleted even faster. I received a PM from username Herobrine, containing one word. Stop. When I went to look at Herobrine's profile, the page 404 I received an email from another forum user. He claimed the mods can read the forum user messages, so we were safer using email. The emailer claimed that he had seen the mystery player too and had a small directory of other users who had seen him as well. Their worlds were lettered with obviously man-made features as well and described their mystery player to have no pupils. About a month passed until I heard from my informant again. Some of the people who'd encountered the mystery man had looked into the name Hero Brian and found that name to be frequently used by a Swedish gamer. After some further information gathering, it was revealed to be the brother of Notch, the game's developer. I personally emailed Notch and asked him if he had a brother. It took him a while, but he emailed me back a very short message. I did, but he is no longer with us. Notch.